It's interesting about, you say John Falatoese, and uh, I remember John at Jesuit High School in Sacramento, and, uh, you know, I, I, he was a dominant player in high school, but he came here and he wasn't that dominant right away. Um, the, the potential was there, the physical skills were there, um, but it took some time, and, uh, and then he just became, uh, he was so fast off the ball, I think that's where he was unique with any defensive tackle that we'd ever had. Uh, is, is his ability. He had an arm over move. People probably don't know what that is, but his quickness off the ball and his ability to get into an offensive lineman and get his hands to his shoulders um, was, uh, was really unlike anything I'd ever seen at Davis by a defensive tackle. And uh, that move, uh, and, and you know, where he was also a specialist, people don't remember, is John may have the school record for blocked field goal attempts too, or PATs. And again, it was because of that sudden quickness getting off the ball. Um, didn't say too much, uh, quiet, um, but, uh, you know, was really probably one of our, if not our most valuable player when he was playing. Our defense uh, was not designed for defensive tackles to get a ton of sacks, you know. I mean, it's more designed with the pressure packages we bring and with our defensive ends, and we're occupying space a lot of times at defensive tackle. Uh, and many a time his assignment was to penetrate but to try to occupy two blockers, but he was so good at it that he got through to uh, the next level and then he, no running back was going to block him. And, uh, and he, was a t he was really, really a terrific, terrific player. And of course he went on to play professionally and uh, understandably, I mean, he was a great player.